second year that we have brought cool poets and storytellers here to Grand Island Senior High. Um, and we take over English classes. Um, so this year we're in 10th and 11th grade and AP Lit Literature and Language Composition classes. Um, and the goal is to help students to find their voice and to really think about writing is not just a homework assignment, but writing is something you do to put your heart and soul on the page so that you learn how to express yourself. We want our students to learn how to speak their truth, how to write their truth, and to understand that their lived experience is really valuable to our community and our society. There are writers, there are artists, who have their passion. And they write for themselves, they write for those they love, and they write for those that need loving. They create with their pens and paints, they write their stories, they etch them into this world. Because they are creators, maker of art. Their passion might be mighty, it might be small, but they have this burning passion. For they write their own stories, they paint their own dreams, and they sing their own melody. They are worth being heard because they are powerful. They have passion and they have their purpose. I am leading some workshops on storytelling. And I'll be working with about three classes. Uh, some of the students are um, English language learners. Uh, so this is an empowering time to let us all think about the stories that we have and to share those stories that we have in a very compelling way. I'm the sponsor for um, the Poetry Club here at Gish. The um, students come after school on Tuesday to um, workshop. So we have a person from the Nebraska Writers Collective that zooms in or sometimes comes and visits us in person. They help us workshop by um, writing poems, editing and revising poems, and also doing performance poems. So in April, we actually go to poetry festivals where students have an opportunity to perform their poems and meet other um, blossoming poets. It gives students a voice. Um, a lot of students are very shy or unsure of what they want to say or even think that they can write poetry. But as they listen to others, as they write their own poems, they realize that they too can do it. Anybody can participate, everybody has something to say, everyone has a story. Tony Stark, Peter Parker, Steve Rogers, all celebrated for their differences, each having multiple issues. Suddenly we're the issue, you're the issue, he's the issue. That issue in 1988 where you said no more mutants. You have always hated us, even when you pretend to love us. I'm sorry, I'm not an Avenger. I'm sorry I didn't get famous until 2018. I've had over 13 movies, none of which have survived in the box office. But you know what? Who cares? I'm just another action figure in the toy aisle of the department store collecting dust. Unappreciated, exploited, used for my abilities, treated like I'm a lab rat. But I'm a nexus being. Original amongst my mutants. A freak amongst others. It's a really bonding experience for our English teachers and our students, our scholars, and it sort of breaks down sort of that, um, those walls of like, I'm the teacher and you're the student, but that we write together. So our English teachers are actually writing alongside our students, and so they're really experiencing all of this cathartic writing experience together. 